From £500 Balenciaga logo t-shirts to £800 Christian Dior sneakers, a question that's often asked is why luxury designer brands charge so much for their products. Some will argue it's about the quality, you get what you pay for. Today, I decided to take a closer look at the different factors behind the high and still rising luxury fashion prices. Luxury brand prices have always been high, but over time, prices have risen at rates which far exceed general inflation levels. A logical starting point and one of multiple influences on high prices are the growing costs involved. Luxury designers tend to work with higher quality materials than your average brand would, and this has an impact on how they'll price a certain product. On top of that, rising raw material costs due to supply shortages or increases in demand ultimately affect the final prices faced by consumers. Many high-end brands like Hermes or Louis Vuitton also have the bulk of their products manufactured in European countries, meaning that overall labour and manufacturing costs are going to be greater than if the same process were to take place in Asia for example, a continent in which many other brands take advantage of some of the cheapest production costs in the world. While material and factory costs contribute to higher prices, the prices luxury brands charge for their items far exceed the direct costs involved in making them. In a 2009 interview with The New Yorker, Lonvon creative director at the time, Albert Albaz, added context to this notion when he described how prices aren't solely based on the end product, but also the research and development that goes into making them. Using a dress as an example, he said the following, I took all the bones out and I stitched, and to get there you know, it took me forever. It took me six or seven dresses to make one. It's time and it's money and we are not doing it in offshore countries. We pay 65% taxes in France. It's so much work. Doing a collection for me is almost like creating a vaccine. Once you create the one vaccine, then you can duplicate for $9.99. But see if you can create it for $9.99. The answer is no. He makes a fair point. If we look at high street fashion brands like Zara or Topshop, they take trends that are currently hot and copy the look to stock their shelves before moving on to the next trend. In contrast to the luxury fashion example, this requires minimal research and effort, which therefore helps to keep the cost of producing new ranges low. This argument works in favour of the luxury brands when we're talking about a complex product such as the hand-constructed dress that Albert was referring to. However, what about the simple Givenchy or Gucci logo t-shirts that retail for over £300? Has that much research and development really gone into the product to warrant such a price tag? Probably not, but articles released by the business of fashion and Fashion Beans both highlight the fact that the costs we've discussed so far are only a fraction of the total expenses required to bring products to the market. Staffing, rent, shipping, and possibly the most important one, marketing, all add massively to luxury brands' overall costs. A runway show can cost more than 15,000 per minute to stage, with some costing considerably more. Millions are spent on big celebrity endorsement deals, ads can cost hundreds of thousands to shoot, and then even more to advertise them in the right places, just so customers are convinced that they should spend as much on the latest sneakers as they would on the holiday. Now that the cost-related factors are out of the way, let's keep it real. Luxury brands will also place seemingly absurd prices on products simply to keep the prestige levels higher. Back in 2013, Burberry even announced that they would raise the prices to increase its appeal to the upper end of its consumer base in addition to attracting new, wealthier customers. The more expensive something is, the more exclusive and therefore desirable it becomes, explains Business of Fashion's Lauren Sherman. The fact that the majority of the world can't afford a particular product can make the idea of owning it a bit more attractive to certain consumers. This correlation between price and exclusivity also means that high-end brands are reluctant to offer discounts or lowly priced items amid fears that will dilute the exclusivity and power of the brand. Some brands go as far as burning stock to prevent their excess goods from being sold at knockdown prices. In 2018, Burberry hit headlines for destroying £28.6 million worth of unwanted stock in the previous year. Luxury brands are well aware that without price being kept at a certain level, their products lose an element of exclusivity that would be difficult to replace. A final factor to mention which also plays a part is the human psyche. People have historically equated cost to quality. A 2008 study from Caltech found people who drank the same wine ranked it as more enjoyable when they were told it cost more even though what was actually in the glass was identical. This could arguably be applied to fashion too. This isn't to say that luxury brand products are the same quality as products from more affordable brands, but the price and difference between the two is likely to be far more substantial than the difference in quality. Generally speaking, you're paying extra for all the cost factors we spoke about today, in addition to premiums that are set by the brand because they know people are willing to pay more for the exclusivity and prestige associated with them. A LinkedIn article by Chris Reeston summarises the topic nicely. This isn't word for word, but essentially he said, whether you regard these brands as being overpriced or worth buying is completely your choice. Fashion has long been regarded as an art and similarly to in the art world, items are valued by what people are willing to pay for them. If you're willing to pay top dollar for an item and you enjoy wearing it, then no one can tell you it wasn't worth it. In any case, it never hurts to know precisely what you're paying for.